that's a very good question. Mm. I'm sure they will not remember the Ugas fight. <laughs> okay? People will always say, yung mga layman na sports fans, no, we remember the eight world titles. Uh-huh. Never been done. Eight world titles. Pero alam mo, sa totoo lang, mm. madali nang kumuha ng titulo sa boxing ngayon eh. There are so many organizations and mm-hmm. there are so many weight classes. Yeah. What will I remember Pacquiao? Saan ko sa maaalala? It's all about boxing. Boxing is mano y mano. Ano ba ang prinsipyo ng boxing? I'm the better fighter. I'm the better man. And mm-hmm. that's how I will remember Pacquiao. Not for the belt. Second dali lang yan, 8 division. Mm-hmm. I will remember him for beating Barrera, for beating De La Hoya, Mm-hmm. Hatton, all these mm-hmm. great Mexican Latino fighters, all these great uh, British fighters in Hatton, how he cannibalized them in the ring. Uh, how he was fearless. Kasi ang nakikita po natin Pacquiao na ngayon, hindi po yan ang vintage Pacquiao. Mm-hmm. Yung vintage Pacquiao went after you like the devil chasing the only <laughs> remaining soul on the planet. Ganun yeah. siya kabrutal. Uh, Ganun for siya sure. Ka- pak ang nakikita nyo ngayon, ang inabutan nyo na is mm. the tamer. Mm-mm. Gentlemanly Pacquiao. You should have seen him when he was at his brutal form. Mm. No? Wala siyang sinasanto. Mm. For a guy who is so religious in the ring, wala siyang sinasanto. Yeah. No mercy. Maalala <laughs> ko kay Manny Pacquiao. I mm. remember when he was fighting guys like Agapito Sanchez, he mm. got cut. You know, the, the crowd went crazy when he licked his own blood <laughs> to tell everybody, let's fight, let's fight. Wala yan, yeah. <laughs> this is immaterial. The blood on my face is immaterial. Mm. You know, that's how I will remember Pacquiao. Boxing is not about eight division titles. Boxing is about, simply put, mano y mano. Mm. Yan po ang boxing. Uh, before, nung panahon ng mga yesteryears, hindi naman importante yung titulo. Ang importante diyan mas magaling akong boxinger so maglaban tayo ngayon. Iyon ang sukatan ng boxing. Kasi yeah. kung 8 division lang, naku po ang dami ng titulo sa boxing ngayon. Uh, you have four, four boxing organization, you have what? 17, 18 world uh, 18 weight classes. Ano ang dami na eh. Madali kumuha ng titulo ngayon, pero yung talunin mo, yung mga magagaling na boxinger during their prime. Lahat nga prime. That's yeah. what I will remember. Ah, huh? mm-hmm. Barrera, the first time he he, he faced Barrera. Yeah. The, the the fights with the early fights with Marquez, oh. hindi ba? Eric Morales, what a trilogy, hindi ba? Mm-hmm. Oh, Ricky Hatton, nakita mo yung knockout niya kay Ricky Hatton, <laughs> yung naghiwalay yung kaluluwa niya sa yeah. kanyang katawang tao. Mm-hmm. Ah, all those sizzling victories, doon ko siya maaalala. Yeah, he was really... a warrior. He was yeah. a warrior. That's really also for me because I don't know, like even if I was a young kid, that was really impressive already na talagang natututunan ko na kung gaano ka relentless siya and determined to win. Like, That's the no word. Mer- relentless. No yeah, relentless. No mercy siya pag lumalaban and kahit hmm. mabait siya, humble siya off the ring. Pero talagang pag doon, talagang ibang klase, talagang yeah. no, no holds, ano na, ano, like no giving up, no, wala siyang hmm. pakikahit sino kalaban kahit sikat, mas sikat ka sa akin, mas, uh, yeah. mas, mas magaling ka sa akin like in the t- highs of the people he doesn't really care he just gives it this all so that's something right. that's really great if that's what he'll really be remembered tama, for tama. so yeah it's something it's something that people should really look forward to even if he'll fight uh, he'll, even if he'll fight pa whether in 2022 or whatever yeah. I think it's really up to the legacy nga that he already cemented that you mentioned kanina like Shannon Sharp also in Undisputed he's the one who mentioned na feeling niya dapat nga mag-retire na nga rin daw si Pacquiao because oh. what else does he have to prove wala na naman? Yeah. Wala na eh. Mm. Para sa akin, wala na eh. And uh, there's really nothing more to cope. Sabi, sabi ko nga, no more mountains to climb mm. from Annie. Time to take your place in the pantheon of greats. It's already mission accomplished mm. for the Pacman. That's the way I see it, you know? Uh, but of course, we have to respect kung gusto pa rin niya. Pero para sa akin, tapos na eh. Wala mm. na. Okay na. Mm. Nothing more to add. Perfect na ang kanyang career, in my opinion. Despite the loss to Ugas, hindi natin siya maaalala for that. We won't remember him for Ugas. We remember mm-hmm. the Barrera, De La Hoya, Hatton, Marquez, Morales, David Diaz. Yun ang maaalala natin mm-hmm. when he was both relentless and fearless. Yeah. 
And you mentioned a lot of the fights that he had, but then of course, pwede ka naman magkaroon ho ng personal favorite. So ano po yun for you? Maybe like your personal favorite, not necessarily the best fight of Pacquiao. And what was, yeah, for you the best and his personal favorite? Like you can kind of separate it if it, there's two different ones. Well, actually, I have two favorites. Number one, oh, okay. yung unang panalo niya kay Marco Antonio Barrera. Oh, okay. First time they met, hindi pa masyadong sikat si Manny Pacquiao. Mm-mm. And second, si Marco Antonio Barrera at the time was one of the best pound-for-pound pound champions in boxing. Mm-hmm. Barrera was at his peak. Pero nakita mo naman, from the first round until the fight was called off dahil he was beating up Barrera, ibang klase yung ferocity ni yes. Manny Pacquiao. Ibang klase. Yung unang laban kay Marco Antonio Barrera. And then another one, yung kay Ricky Hatton. <laughs> uh, which lasted, what, two rounds lang ata. Ano? O, talagang tulog. Ano? Uh, ibang klase. Doon pinakita niya yung kanyang punching power. Hmm. Ibang, magaling yung Hatton. I mean, uh, although napalambot na siya ni Floyd Mayweather before. Pero ibang klase, the way Pacquiao tore apart itong si Ricky Hatton. And remember, yung Barrera, yung Hatton fights, ha? walang catch weight yun. Ah, kasi si Pacquiao, may mga laban siya na dinimand niya, yung champion, Magbawas ka naman ng timbang kasi laki mo, maliit lang ako eh. Di ba? Remember Cotto? Yes. Remember De La Hoya? Remember mm-hmm. Magrito? He asked these guys, catch weight na lang tayo. Babakay ng timbang. Eh, kaya gusto-gusto ko yung Hatton, gusto ko yung Barrera because walang catch weight. He fought these guys at their own terms. Mm-hmm. Kasi yung catch weight, palagi ko, yun ang isa sa mga negative mark yung money. You never fought them at their real weight. Oh. Inversa mo silang magbawas ng timbang. Kasi nga, superstar siya eh. That's why he can do that. Ano? Mm. So, pero yung Hatton, yung Barrera, walang mga catch weight yun. Talagang he demolished them at their own game. So for me, those are the two fights that stand out. Although, when you're talking Manny Pacquiao, napakarami. Yes, na mag- ang dami na yan. Yeah. Napakarami, napakarami. Hindi ka mauubusan pagdating ng uh, magagandang laban about Manny Pacquiao.